Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Larry Nelson heading out to Eloy today to meet with Scott Kasler. Scott's going to be doing a lot of the machining for me. So um, if you've been following along, you know that um, you need to process the crankshaft to uh, get it ready for the fifth journal bearing and also to get the um, safety shaft installed. So heading out to Scott's to do that this morning. It's about a, I don't know, about, probably about a two, two and a half hour drive. And All right, so we just uh, finished with Scott. Load up the part. So you see, we went through here and I cleaned the heads up a little bit, getting them ready to send them out to William. Got this guy done. As you saw there, we back side here. Open this up, per how William does it. Then we had to mill this down here so that we can fit in the gold oil system. So that's done. In here, got all the, um, the pistons ready to go. And one other thing. Walk back this way. So you got the crankshaft here, swapped out the gear, and threaded for safety shaft. So at this point, I'm pretty much ready to put the long block together. So let's head home and get that done. All right, let's head back to Yuma. So as I was saying, Scott, he does a lot of the um, half, he does the half VWs. Um, he does a lot of stuff for uh, Hummel aircraft. He makes a lot of uh, motors for those guys as well for the, you know, the different uh, Hummel aircraft. So, but not much of a Corvair guy, but he does uh, do some great machine work and he has a great price for me. So let me break down um, everything we just did there. So uh, Scott, he charged me 30 bucks to get the uh, safety shaft threaded. Uh, then he also swapped out the ARP bolts from, from the rods that I had that they were in to uh, my, the rods that I'm actually gonna use. Charged me 10 bucks for that. That's actually not too bad. So they're all seated, ready to go. Uh, the other thing we did was we machined the um, the oil system so that uh, for the high volume oil pump, and he charged me a uh, whopping twenty bucks for that. So grand total seventy bucks. You know that's that would have been a lot more money had I had to um, take that to another machine shop or do some other things. So coming out quite a bit ahead. I'm, I uh, really do like Scott and his work, and he's a pretty good guy to hang around. So uh, again, back to Yuma and uh Hey everybody, it's been a couple days since I got back from Eloy, but let me show you why I haven't actually gotten the long block closed up yet. So I've got 99% of everything I need. I'm waiting on some case assembly lube, which I ordered today. And uh, as soon as that in, that's in, I'm actually gonna get this thing uh, closed up and I'll have the long block minus the fifth bearing actually uh, on the bench. So let me show you where I'm at. All right, so here we go. If you notice, we got this threaded for the safety shaft, new gear on, good to go. Cams back there, ready to be installed. Notice I did a nice little paint job here on the uh, oil housing. So this, like you saw in the video earlier, we've got it milled out right here, the way William Wynn does it. We also had to mill this little guy down here so that we could fit in the gold oil system. So that's done, ready to install. And if you look back over here, I've got the gasket for it. I do need to pick up some RTV so I can get that on. Back here, there's a harmonic balancer. And in this bag here, I've got the rear oil seal. So that's ready all to go together. Uh, heads, right here, we've cleaned them up. These are ready to go, shipped off to William, and I've got 
the stuff I need here to put the boxes together to get them shipped. So stay tuned for these. So might be a little while before I get another video out, but as you notice, I should have the long block here put together pretty soon. That's going to be in the next video. So uh, so keep uh, keep an eye out. I should have the next video up pretty soon, and that'll be me getting the long block together. And that's all that's going to be in the video because I've got some other parts that I need to come in that are on order. So I've actually got piston rings, uh, the base gaskets, and a couple other parts that I need to actually get most of the engine assembled. After that, I'm really just waiting on a little bit of funding you know, on my end to uh, pick up the fifth bearing. And uh, after that, I'll be ready to actually put the motor back together. It'll be almost at a state ready to run. So follow along. See you guys along in the next one.